what's going on everybody going to continue on with what we were working on in the last video we're going to start working on the oil pan and go ahead and getting the old gasket scraped off there like we or like what I showed you and of course scrape it off the bottom of the engine we're going to test fit our no well plug make sure it doesn't it's not going to leak and then get the oil pan installed and hopefully we'll have time in this particular video to go ahead and do the oil line if not Save it for next time. Stay tuned. Here is our oil pan. Oh, well, you can kind of see me. Uh, so what we're going to do, take our handy dandy razor blade, and then just go all the way around and get all this gasket off. And when we're done, we're going to spray it out really good. And then we're going to test fit our our uh, no oil plug to make sure that it doesn't leak before we install. So we got most of the gasket off, like you don't have to get it completely clean, but it needs to be flush to where if you rub your finger all along the edge here, you're not going to have um, a bunch of rigid places to where when you put the new gasket maker on, it'll just sit in there like it's supposed to. Now with this particular oil pan, it's a little different because this side here, instead of meeting up up here like the rest of it does, it actually goes down along there so when you're putting your gasket maker on make sure that you go down and then across the side and not right here I mean if you put some right there it'd probably be okay but this is where it should go all right so now we're just going to work on getting it we'll go over here and spray it out get it cleaned up and then we're going to test our uh, no weld plug here to make sure it doesn't leak washed out as you saw so now we're going to I'm gonna plug up the hole probably just hold it with my finger here so water can't flow out and just watch for leaks and see if it hold if it will hold any liquid because if it won't leak with water it shouldn't leak with oil but we're gonna test it and see at this part of the video you could probably tell that I changed clothes and it looks a little different but I did because I started recording the other part before I got sick. But anyway, so we're going to move on and take place from where this video should have began, ended. I don't know. Let's just stay tuned. Okay, so as you can tell in the previous shots that our oil pan, no well plug, from where uh, I made my hole a little too far over in the pan, I can't get the screw on any tighter than what it is, so because it's hitting the sidewall here. So what we're going to end up having to do, since it is leaking, is we are going to put a little JB weld on there and uh, around the outside of it. It kind of helps seal that up where it's leaking. So uh, right here, I'll switch to a shot to where I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's an old wheel plug. Plug. We still got to clean up, you know, the rest of that gasket maker that was on it. But here's what I'm talking about. You see how it's sitting a little cockeyed or a little crooked? It's because from where I made my hole, this bolt and everything, how it's so big, it's hitting this side wall right here of this piece here. So, with that being said. I can't get it to go any further on than what it is and any tighter because of that. So I tested it uh, when I went to go spray it out and and you could see in the video that it was just leaking right out right there. It's just drip 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 drip. So we're just going to take some JB Weld and just put it right around there and that should do the trick. Uh, since that's not the main thing holding this bolt on, it's actually on there.
So it kind of looks, I know you're probably thinking it looks like what it did before, but it, it really does not. And I know that it doesn't look pretty, but it is completely sealed all the way around it. So what we're going to do is let this dry. And after it dries, oh, look at that big old hole. Ah. After our JB Weld dries, then we're going to test it again to make sure we don't have any water leaking out. Make sure I just, I didn't miss a place somewhere and maybe have to put a little bit more of it on. But, but the JB Weld, I like using it for like a sealant. Uh, because when that stuff hardens, it hardens good, but as far as holding stuff on, like how I had this before, since it wasn't bolted, that's why it didn't work well, because it, it just broke loose and it come out, and... But now that this is actually bolted in, it's not going anywhere. And I think even if uh, I didn't see that leak at first, I probably would still probably put a little bit around the outside like that anyway, just for extra protection, I guess. So here's what we're going to do now. Now we're going to get back underneath the car and start scraping off all that old gasket from underneath the engine while this dries. Okay, so we got pretty much all the gasket off. I mean, you're always going to have a little bit of remnants on there. It's, it's going to be like almost impossible unless you just want to sit here and scrape, 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 scrape and, until you're blue in the face to get the, the gasket completely off. But the one thing you do have to make sure is that you don't have any old gasket that accidentally got up inside your engine anywhere and I was kind of looking and I don't see anything from what I can tell so um, it's pretty much ready now for the oil pan to now the gasket maker I like to use is this one right here now, this is obviously an old one I'm gonna go I'm gonna see if I can reuse it even though it's been clogged up right here just pull off the old stuff but it still feels like it's good, but it's the Ultra Copper Sensor Safe High Temp RTV Silicone Gasket Maker. You can get this at AutoZone, Advance Auto, all those places like that. I think Walmart might even have it. And uh, it's about five, six bucks. So this is the one I like using. Uh, I've used this for all kinds of stuff on my on my different uh, vehicles and engine apparel and. Uh, it's always worked really good for me. Um, I didn't have any issues with the oil pan leaking when I put it back on the first time, except out of the oil plug, obviously, but out around where this gasket maker was put on, it had no issues. So I would recommend putting this on and then putting your pan back on. And before you put oil in it, let it sit for at least 24 hours. That's important. Make sure it's dry before you put oil back into your engine. If you need to repeat that again go ahead because if you do not you take the chance of it not being dry yet take a chance of it leaking out or you take a chance of maybe a piece of the gasket getting inside your engine and then you have issues so according to the directions I believe it takes at least 24 hours for it to cure last time I let it sit I think it was over 24 hours so just to be safe but remember do not put oil in it when you first put the oil pan back on. Let that stuff dry. So okay, so here's the oil pan. We got it back inside. JB Weld is still a little wet. It's not completely dry yet, so we're not gonna be able to test it tonight. So that'll be the first thing we will do tomorrow in tomorrow's video. And make sure that we don't have any leaks. And if we do, so if I still see a leak coming out from around the JB Weld, then I'm going to just pull a bit more of it on and that should fix it but uh, it looks like it's pretty sealed so I think we're gonna be good but yeah tomorrow we'll test leak and then we'll get the okay that's where we're gonna end this video for tonight thank you all for watching once again and if you're a returning viewer thank you very much for coming back and if you're a first-timer I'm gonna encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button because 
especially if you're new to the turbo game and you want to do everything on as cheap as possible in the budget and on a strict budget this is the channel for you I promise you if you like the, you like the video go ahead and like it and share it and um, but yeah today we didn't get a whole lot done but tomorrow I plan on getting in there and getting this old pan hopefully put back on the car and getting these old lines hooked all back up over here and uh, don't know if we'll get to start it yet still but we're at least going to get everything put back together minus the exhaust so thank you all for watching stay tuned for tomorrow and see y'all when I see y'all.